Hey everyone, this is uh, Jared of Victor Kilo 3 Bravo Lima and um, one of the questions that a few people have asked me is um, is the 7610 any better at medium wave and short wave reception um, in comparison to the 7300? Um, a lot of people sort of commented, especially uh, short wave listeners, that the 76, uh, the 7300 sorry, um, had a quite annoying um, base roll off that rendered it inferior to you know, even just sort of medium of the medium range, um, you know, um, uh, receivers. Uh, you know, just the the sort of things that you might uh, find down at your local, um, you know, uh, well, not 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 ham radio store, not transceiver store, but just general um, radio store um, or you know, uh, retailer. So, um, you know, I, I can understand why they might be a little bit disappointed about that, and. Uh, arguably concerned that the 7610 might have a, a similar problem. So what I've done is I've gone out and I've got a little mixer. Um, now I'm recording uh, my audio through the mixer. Um, I have bumped uh, the mid-range up a little bit, rolled the bass and uh, the highs off a little bit just to give it that uh, typical ham radio sort of sound. Um, this is just for, for my microphone, mind you. Um, I just wanted, to, wanted it to sound like how I'm used to monitoring my own voice. Um, I'm using a Hull PR781 um, to record this video. Now, um, what we're going to do is I'm, I've got I've set both the radios up um, uh, with the same uh, radio station. They're vastly different to set up, but what I have done is adjust them so that the signal strength is at the same level um, in in uh, in terms of receive signal strength. I've gone and set the mixer up so that the audio input levels are, um, you know, within uh, well, essentially three decibels of each other. Uh, unfortunately, I can't just turn the input on and off. I do have to wind the pot up, so there will be a bit of a, a difference there. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna we're basically we're just gonna listen to uh, 621 kilohertz, which is Australia Radio National um, broadcast, um, you know, freely around the world. Um, well, it. it it's uh, Radio Australia is our, well, was I suppose to some degree our, our uh, international shortwave station, but Radio Australia is our national broadcaster. So we're going to listen to a, a bit of a sample of that. Um, I get them quite strong here. Um, both my radios are reading about uh, 40 decibels over, um, about 35 at the moment, moment. It's just stopped raining, so it was 40 when I set it up, but they're, they're well and truly um, very, very similar. So the first radio I'll play you is the 7300, and I'm just going to bring that into the mix now. Gun salesman, brilliant car salesman. What makes someone a great car salesman? What are the characteristics you need? How do I know? What do you know about your, your car salesman, country car salesman dad at the age of 8, 9 and 10 is that you're sitting in the car outside the park? So that's the 7610, let's, uh, 7300, sorry, let's go to 7610. And you go across the road and look in and it's all full of people shouting at each other and, you, and then the door's locked anyway because they're drinking after hours and you go back and sit in the car. So you don't really know a lot about your father's skills. And as my own son, who I saw, he said, well, didn't you have a Game Boy or anything? <laughs> and I said, no. Now, in that last said, no, one, I very right. quickly went back to the 7300 just to demonstrate the, um, I guess, the, the base roll-off that people have been talking about. Let's do that again. We're going to start with the 7610, then we're going to quickly roll off into the 7300. voice, and it's really ridiculous because I'm sitting here and, and I'm, I'm not a woman, and this is a woman's voice. On the page, because people tend to assume that the, 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 the gender of a, of a character in a first-person narration is the same as the author. It's sort of, there's three or four or five times in the first two paragraphs. And this time I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to go from the 7300 to the 7610 and uh, see if that's a bit more obvious. For a girl to defeat one father is a challenge, but there were two standing between me and what I wanted, which was not to fiddle-faddle, a lovely little fellow named Titch Bobs. The first father was my own. When he discovered that I... Now, bear in mind, the mixer is identical, uh, as in both the, the stri um, you know, the high, the low, the mid, the low, um, even the drive levels, they're all identical between the two radios. Um, so, you know, there shouldn't be any um, anything to gain. There's no trickery going on in the mixer. The, the 7300 definitely has a, has a bass roll-off. 
Um, could that be cured with passive components? I'm absolutely sure it could, but if you're going to just listen to the radio, you know, with the with the um, internal speaker, then you know you might find that um, it it does leave something to be desired compared to your traditional um, medium wave or AM uh, receiver. Um, and the 7610 uh, doesn't suffer that problem. It does have one drawback, however, in that. Um, the 7300, uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned this or not, but there's a menu option to automatically attenuate um, the medium wave band. So you just go over to um, medium wave and, and away you go, you start receiving. The 7610, however, does require you to know how to drive a radio. Um, it seems to be considerably more sensitive um, in the medium wave band, um, even even with the, the attenuator turned off uh, on the 7300. And you you have to do things like wind the RF game back on the 7610. You have to you have to um, you have to kick in the manual attenuator. You can't rely on an automatic one. So um, altogether, it's a you know it, it it is a harder to drive radio um, for medium wave and short wave reception um, than the 7300 is. But um, you know the payoff is you get a better sound and you get you know better sensitivity and all those sort of things. Um, and certainly you get better selectivity with um, the um, larger dynamic range of the 7610. So would I recommend it to those who have been disappointed by the 7300? Absolutely I would. It's, uh, it's, it's definitely, they've, they've definitely, I guess, removed some of the limitations or, or you know, not be, be or weren't beholden to some of the limitations that the, 70, the 7300 um, had with medium wave reception. To finish this off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in um, the 7300 uh, on the left channel and the 7610 on the right channel. Well, I'll set the audio levels um, to be about negative uh, 6 on, on my mixer um, for each radio and I'll run them side by side for a while. So anyone who wants to go and compare um, the, the received audio at exactly the same time, maybe do a fast Fourier analysis, uh, you know, it, it really depends on how dedicated you are to uh, comparing these receivers. It's up to you. I'm giving you the raw data. You'll be able to go and do that. Just split out the channels and uh, do what you like. Anyway, without much further ado, this is uh, Jared VK3 uh, Bravo Lima, and I'm going to, um, um, you know, feed both the radios in and go QRT. That was one story not even Dad would swallow. Didn't matter. He went on and wrote the check to the salesman. Dan Bobst, who, as I discovered when I opened the door on VE Day, had thrown in free driving lessons, which would be supplied by his sonny. Oh, Lord, what a sight that sonny was, there on our front porch with his cardboard suitcase on a Tuesday morning. I learned he was to stay with us. But Mum... Alas, she never got to put the key in the ignition and everyone was so upset and busy with the funeral and no one told the young man that he should leave. He had nowhere else to stay, so he unpacked his port and awaited instructions, as he later liked to say. The Ford was parked in our drive with no sign that it was now part of the deceased estate. My mum was in the Mount Dunedin Cemetery and the new boarder was the only one who helped me go through her things. He said nothing about the car or about the lessons he had been expecting to give to the deceased. He asked me if I knew how to drive. I told him that if he could be home by six at night, he could have tea with us. In the midst of all the sadness, the pretty red-cheeked man was a great comfort. I could not do without. I held my breath. I cooked for him, and he scraped his plate clean and help me with the drying up. He was neat. When I cried, he comforted me. He left talcum powder on the bathroom floor. In the nights at Western Beach, when you could hear the forlorn anchor chains of the old warships anchored in Carayo Bay, he told me stories of his father, which he thought were funny. These were more important than I knew. In any case, my eyes stung hot to hear that the lovely boy had broken his arm swinging the prop of the wretched father's monoplane and that the old bully had taught him to land by sitting behind him in the navigator's seat and something...